Hi guys, in today's video we will talk about translocation in the phloem and we will finish with an exam style question. So um, translocation occurs in the phloem and translocation refers to the movement of assimilates throughout the plant. Now assimilates are uh, substances made by the plant using substances from the environment um, and in this particular case we'll be looking at the assimilate sucrose because that is really the main one. Um, now, it's important not to get translocation and transpiration mixed up. Transpiration occurs in the xylem, uh, translocation obviously in the phloem. Um, we'll go through some other differences at the end. Um, but yes, now before we get started with active loading, uh, a couple of things I want to draw your attention to are sources and sinks. So, um, sources are basically uh, parts of the plant that make sucrose um, and these sources load the sucrose into the phloem. Sinks are places that use up sucrose um, and uh, these take sucrose out of the phloem um, and sources are generally referred to as leaves that we'll look at more examples later and uh, sinks would be growing parts of the plant or possibly roots. So um, sucrose is said to be actively loaded into the phloem and these are keywords that you will need to use in any uh, exam answers. So recall from previous videos that the phloem uh, doesn't just exist by itself but it also has companion cells to uh, help with this process of active loading and these companion cells have lots of mitochondria which show that um, this process is indeed active and therefore uses ATP um, and they also have big nuclei. Uh, not shown in this diagram are sieve plates which are perforated end walls between each of the elements that make up the phloem. So the first thing that happens in active loading is that uh, hydrogen ions or H plus ions are pumped out of the companion cell this way, uh, which might seem weird. Uh, but what this does is it builds up this concentration or, or increases the concentration of uh, hydrogen ions on this side of the companion cells. Now, this means that they will diffuse back in to the companion cell but uh, because membranes are generally impermeable to H plus ions the only way that they can get through is through special proteins. Now these proteins that it gets through um, are uh, co-transporters so they will only allow um, hydrogen ions to get back into the cell if they're combined with um, another molecule and these uh, co-transporters specifically look for sucrose. So hydrogen ions only going to come back in here um, if there's sucrose. Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.